geometry number 268, get an apothem. We're going to try to catch that elusive, wild, sneaky apothem. I'll show you how. First of all, an apothem is a little line that goes from the center of a polygon straight into one of the polygon's flat sides. See, like this. It makes a perpendicular line to the flat side. It never goes to a vertex. That wouldn't be perpendicular then, would it? If it went into a vertex, for the square, it would make a 45 degree angle. That's not perpendicular. So remember, it goes into the flat side, okay? Now, to find and catch this apothem, we need to break the polygon into triangles, all right? So it doesn't matter what polygon we have, break it into equal triangles. We draw lines from the center point of the polygon to each vertex, okay? These are not the apothems. These are breaking it into triangles, because I know I said don't do vertexes. This is different. This is to find the apothem, okay? So first we're going to draw lines and break them into triangles, okay? You choose one triangle as your favorite, and that's the one we use to get the apothem. So I want to use a square to do this. If you want to get paper and help do it along with me, that would be great, because then you can keep your notes and remember how we did this. So. I broke it a square into four triangles like this, and I chose the one I like, and that's the one I'm going to work with to find the apothem, okay? Now, I draw a line cutting this triangle in half. That is our apothem. See, it's, making the, it's going right into the flat side, making the perpendicular line. So, we need an outside edge measure. I want to pick four because it's an even number and it's easy to divide into two, okay? So now we've got this. Each of these outside lines of the square is four inches, but this one's two inches and this one's two inches because we broke this triangle in half with that apothem, okay? Now because we split the triangle with the apothem, we created these two inch triangle sides, all right? Now remember, polygons are 360 degrees around, all right? circles even. But this square is 360 degrees around. A triangle is too. A pentagon is also. So what we're going to do is, because we created these four triangles, we're going to divide that 360 by 4, which is 90 degrees. Okay? That is going to give us a 90 degree angle here, 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 but because we broke this one in half with the apothem, we've got a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here, okay? So now, each triangle inside is 90 degrees, and we have two 45 degree angles. Now, if you don't know what a tangent ratio is, you need to pause this video and watch my video number 253 for tangent ratios because you may not understand what's about to happen, okay? So, this gives us an acute angle of 45 degrees right there, okay? And it gives us an opposite side of 2 inches right there. We need to solve for tangent 45, all right? We need to solve for this line, the apothem, which is our, uh, our adjacent side, okay? So, to solve it for tangent 45, remember that it is A over B, all right? And if you noticed, I've used color coding, okay? So, this is A right here, and it's going to be over the purple. So it's going to be this one over the purple, all right? So it's opposite over the adjacent. So it's 2 inches over B, all right? We flip the equation around to solve for B, all right? Because we now have 2 inches over B, but we want to solve for B. So what we do is we put B is equal to 2 inches over tangent 45. See? We flipped it. Now, if you don't have a scientific calculator, it's no big deal. You can look it up online or in the back of your math book. You'll see trig tables. Just type in trig table, and you'll see a bunch of degree measures going down the first column, and then you'll see sine, cosine, and or, or sin, cos, or tan in the columns coming down, and that's the trig table you want. Look for 45 degrees, go all the way across to the tangent column, and you'll see that it's got 1.0 for tangent 45, okay? So because this was our equation, we've got 2 inches over 1 now, all right? Now if you have a scientific calculator, all you have to do is type in 2, 
a division sign, either like that or the slash, hit the tangent button and type in 45 and you'll get 2 inches. 2 inches divided by 1 is 2 inches. Okay? So our apothem is equal to 2 inches. So this little line here is 2 inches. We found him. Now, on the trig table, tangent 36 would come out as this decimal, 0.7265, tangent 30. You know, this would be the degree measure of the inside angle of the triangles that you created. So let's say you did one of these other ones, okay? If you did a triangle over here, you would end up with 120, okay? And half of that would be 60, wouldn't it? So you'd end up using this decimal point to do this part. Okay, it would have been two inches divided by that, all right, by 1.7321. And then that would give you the measure of your apothem. So it, this is going to depend on what the internal uh, degree measure is inside of here, right, at this point. Okay, sorry for the focus. Whenever I put my hand in the way, it always does that. I kind of keep remembering that. So that is how you find your apothem. It's really not that hard. Once you've got this... You've got control to find area and, you know, surface area. It can help you find volume. There's all kinds of things the apothem can do, okay? So, that's how you catch him. He's not that elusive. Just follow these and try doing it with a pentagon or a triangle or a hexagon. Try, just try it. See if you can do it on your own. And hang on to your notes so that you can... Go back and use them in the future until you've get, you get this memorized how to do it. But keep up the good work, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!